Tonight is real special. Uh, you've heard some great talent, and we got some more great talent. And we really appreciate these guys giving their time because they're doing it to, for the same reason Mickey and I are giving our time. We're trying to promote Muscle Shoals music. And um, we, we probably got some of the busiest songwriter musicians literally in the world are squeezing us in their schedule. And I hope y'all appreciate it. Uh, I've got a two-page uh, little uh, bit of information on these two guys, and I'm not going to take up their time because you're going to know who they are when you hear their songs. And they're great musicians, songwriters, and they're the kind of guys that uh, I got to tell you, I know them, I know them both well, and they're uh, they're role model type guys. We're really glad to have them as part of the Muscle Shoals music scene.
it and made the first contact with me. He calls me a That's a good question. I don't know how to call since it didn't work sick tonight, but he's still drilling on now. He's been here all week anyway, went home last night and came back today. Uh, we're going to start with a tune that we wrote uh, back in 1993, I think it was, remember? It's number one, my top five record for all that.
final dance in a almost four hours. <laughs> Double shot of water here on the rocks. Check, check. So this is a writer's night, right? So it is. Do we talk? Do we answer questions? <laughs> okay. All right, Frank, why don't you do one? All right. Let's go way back. I'd like to do my very first number one record for you. Uh, that was out uh, a few years back. There's a duet, if I can get Mr. Banker to sing the girls part over there. <laughs> I remember. We got off the road with Baker and Myers. We picked up buses and went out with uh, a bunch of big recording artists and wrote with them. And uh, this is one that Tracy Lawrence, we wrote with him back in October, I guess, and he recorded it this past December and it's on his new album. I think the album is called The Coast is Clear. Something like that. And uh, this is on, on that record. Thank you. 
stay in Mexico and you do a song you wrote with Danny Raymond. Okay. Uh, I worked with Danny Raymond for nine years. He was his guitar player and wrote a bunch of songs with him. And, uh, Danny, by the way, is a fantastic songwriter. He is. Fantastic songwriter, great singer. That song we did right there was kind of Mexico part two, so here's part one. Uh, this week because she was at my house on a vacation uh, and she did some fundraisers with me and she's about to do this new TV show and everybody's really wanting her and Donnie because her and Donnie are going to get together and do a TV show together again which is kind of weird. It's a talk show. So uh, I get a phone call uh, Monday morning I guess and it says uh, Dick Clark. You know who Dick Clark is, right? He's going to be at my house Monday. I say, okay. Who is he? Dick Clark. You know, da -da -da -da. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he looks just like you. <laughs> I found out the next day, I, mean, he looked, I looked at him, I said, okay, 45, tops. And he was, he was on Oprah the next day, he was 68 years old. But, um, so he's at my house all day, and it was really cool, and uh, I called home and asked my wife, was he nice? Because I was out doing a celebrity golf tournament Monday, and uh, he said, she said, yeah, he's helped me bring the groceries up. You know, it was really cool that I was Pathfinder that went to pick him up at the airport and there were four guys and Marie and my wife and the baby and my other son too and they all got in that Pathfinder. Can you imagine the son of Joe Dude, that's Marie Osmond and Dick Clark. <laughs> it was kind of strange, but I got home in time to meet him and take him uh, back to the airport and they struck some kind of big deal there in my, in my office at my house, which made me feel kind of neat. I dropped a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and anyway, so it's been a really fun week for me, but a tiresome week. And, uh, the reason I brought up Marie's name was because I wrote this song uh, on the road with Marie in the back of one of her buses, and we were at the Crazy Horse Saloon in Los Angeles, California, and uh, she had the pleasure of telling my friend Frank and myself that we, we used to do two songs with Marie on acoustic with her, and she said, by the way, Gary and Frank, you've got a number one record today, and we were just kind of neat. Uh, anyway. Also, I have a newborn baby, TXO. 
And I'm going to dedicate this song again to him because that's who I think of. I think of my children whenever I think of this song. Once upon a lifetime I looked in someone's eyes I felt the fire burning in my heart For the very first time But I was scared and young Once upon a lifetime You hold the queen of hearts and If you give a long or dying When the demon starts You stand to lose it all
Yeah, I'm not going to. You're pulling my hat. This is unrehearsed, I promise you that much. Except let's do one at a time. Yeah. I'm going to do a Baker and Myers tune for you. Let's see. We had a ride the last couple of years touring. We did a record together. We're doing another record right now here in Muscle Shoals, actually, with Walt Daughters producing. And uh, this is our first single off of our first album.
success with uh, nationally, especially right here, I think. Uh,
Thank you very much. Uh, I guess you can tell we write mostly ballads. <laughs> special to us that uh, was on our album, it was never a single, but uh, we really like the song a lot, it says a lot, and uh, hopefully your voice will hold out for it. Make any excuses? Yes, because I don't have one. Okay. Step in the right direction. 
sidewalks leading downtown It's safe to walk that way In the classrooms and the school yards And even school like kids It's a long way back where we can get on track Before it got cut. But before this gets cut, I want to I wanna say, make an announcement real quick because I've been working with a guy for a long, long time. I've been knowing this guy it's 17 years now. He's been nothing but like one of the best friends I've ever had. Mr. Butch Johnson, right there. And people know Butch. He's our tour manager on the road. He also runs sound. He's a great sound man. And uh, Butch has been working really hard for a long, long, long time as a songwriter. And he's had some success. But I, I, wanted, I wanted to just tell you tonight that you're about to have the biggest year of your life because you don't know this, but you just got a major, major cut today. And I want to give him a big hand. I want to tell you in person alone when we can, you know, hug each other and stuff. But myself and Butch and I, I wrote a song about a month or two ago, and uh, there's this group in Europe, they're called the Boys are coming to America this year, and they've—I've uh, got a song on our current album right now. It's sold over 10 million copies. 
And uh, Butch has got one on their next album. We didn't even know it was gonna, I knew it was gonna get cut, but I didn't know, I thought maybe a year or two, but it's getting cut like tomorrow. And so there's some good news for you, Butch. You wanna borrow some money? You can go get some money now. So congratulations. He's been wanting to fix his house up for a long time, and I'm just proud of that, I'm proud of that bucket for you. Anyway, this was written five years ago. I know, longer than five years ago. It took five years to get this cup, and you never, you never give up on a good one if you know you got a good one. Just don't, don't quit, don't, don't ever say you can't do it.
this great band tonight. Uh, over here on the first keyboard is a, one of the greatest songwriters in the world, Spooner Oldham, written a million hands. All these guys up here played on thousands of hit records. 
Over here, a member of the Muscle Shoals Rhythm Station, one of the greatest bass players in the world, David Hood. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, one of the greatest, no, greatest keyboard players, the great, great Clayton Ivey. Yeah. Back here on drums, what can you say about this guy, man? Roger Hawkins. Happens on percussion, another great guy, man. Mickey Buckets. Yeah. Over here, a guy keeps us straight. Hey, just an unbelievable guitar player. I'll tell you how great he is. He used to play lead for Bonnie Raitt. You've got to be open for business to do that. Great Bill McFarlane. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Thank y'all so much for coming out tonight. Just stay around and let you let you some great musicians in the crowd tonight that's going to come up and play. Yeah, we're going to keep, keep it going. So stay around. Stay around. Thank you again for coming.
Chicken one? Chicken one, Jay. With a gun. Chicken one. Gun. I had a, the guy had a gun in his eyes. Hey, NC, where are you, buddy? Mr. Thurman. NC Thurman, we got a keyboard needs warming up up here. Terry, come on, Terry, come on up here and play bass with us, man. We're going to do a little thing. Thank you. 